Robot 1. Fight. Back in 1988, Capcom released the CP System arcade board. This was followed by CP System 2 in 1993 and the CP System 3 in 1996. From there, Capcom went on to work on the Naomi system. The Capcom or CP arcade systems are mostly known for three main types of games. Head-to-head -head fighting games, shoot 'em up games, and beat 'em up games. There's also a few puzzle, quiz, platformer, and action games as well. Now then, among its popular games, you will find a number of Street Fighter and Super Street Fighter games. In addition, there's also the popular Marvel vs. Capcom game. Due to its popularity, it is no mystery that a number of you have requested I do a video tutorial on the CP system. Therefore, if you like 2D fighting games, or you want to set up your CP system games, or you want to set up the Final Burn Neo emulator in Batoseta, then this video tutorial is for you. Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batoseta Nation. So once again today we're going to be focused on the CP systems from Capcom. So it turns out that one of the best emulators out there that emulates all three systems, CPS 1, 2, and 3, is Final Burn Neo. And fortunately for us, this is included in Batoseta. If you go to the wiki page from their emulator, it turns out that not only do they emulate the CPS 1, 2, and 3, but they also emulate a number of other systems, including Cave, the first generation, Data East, Galaxian-based hardware, uh, Konami, Neo Geo, Pac-Man-based hardware, Sega System 1, uh, and a few other more, okay? So it's quite a huge list of games that they tend to emulate. And according to the wiki page from Batuseta, uh, you can see there, uh, they've got uh, Final Burn and Neo. We've already discussed this in the previous video, uh, these main collections, 2003 plus and 2010. Okay, we also discussed Flycast as well. So again, today we're going to focus on Final Burn Neo. And according to the wiki page, uh, if you want to emulate besides the CP systems, other ROM sets, the best option for us is try to locate version 1.0 ROM set. Okay, so Decided to go to our favorite uh, website, archive.org, to try to locate all these files. So, turns out after much searching, I was able to locate the CP systems, right? One, two, and three. And you can see here it says that it should work with uh, Final Burn Neo version 1.0, okay? And also, furthermore, that the files are divided into three separate folders CPS 1, 2, and 3. So, if we go into Show All, and go into view contents. And sure enough, you can see that it has different folders. All the games for 1, 2, and CPS 3. And I was able to try to compare to see how complete this ROM set is. And I went to the wiki page for uh, CP systems 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and I was able to compare and match the files. And sure enough, it turns out everything is there. I think there may be a couple of puzzle and quiz games that may not be there, but when I add up all these games, it turns out there's about 78, and when I add up all the games from here, I think it's about 83 or 86 games, so it's pretty complete, okay, it's a safe bet, everything is there, okay? And the final thing is to try to locate the ROM set for the Final Burn Neo, and it turns out it's there as well, um, archive.org going to show all and let's go here this is what we should, this is the thing that we need to be downloading which is this right here arcade non-merged click on that and it's a quite an extensive list in fact i think it's over it's over six thousand uh, games in there okay quite extensive so for this Best bet is go try to download it via the turned. OK, 
Okay. Now then, for the CP systems, you can either go with torrent or with the zip file. So this is less than one gigabyte, I think. You're okay downloading just one zip file, okay? But again, you can also do it a lot faster with going to torrent, all right? So after you've downloaded everything, then go ahead and copy this to a portable hard drive. And then we'll take that portable hard drive, we'll hook it up into the Bato Zeta system, and then we'll copy and paste everything, okay? So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back in Bato Zeta, so let's go ahead and press F1 on your keyboard. And I'm going to my portable hard drive and uh, these are all my files. So let's go ahead and just copy all this. Go into ROMs, go into FB Neo, and just copy it there and paste it there. Shouldn't sure take that long to copy all this. Okay, we are done. Go ahead, exit this. Let me just go ahead and press the start. Go into game settings, updates game list. Yes, and it should be there. There it is. Final burn Neo. Okay, and then we have. You can see there we got uh, 83 games, and there's everything. Okay, and these should work. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and just test out a couple of them. fighting game here. So everything is working. here press start going to scrape we're gonna scrape from arcade database 
image source, screenshot, box source, box 2D, and we want the videos as well. Okay. And let's go ahead and start. Okay. It's going to take a while. So I'm going to fast forward all of this and uh, I'll be back when everything has been scraped. All right, it's finished scraping. Let's go ahead and press start. Game settings, update game list. And there you go. You can see you found videos and pictures, everything on all of them. Turns out. Okay, so suppose you want to divide these games into the different folders, CPS1, CPS2, CPS3. Go ahead and press select, go into view customizations, and go into show folders, press always, back out of there, no. Now you can see it's divided into two different systems, right? There's system one. System 2 and System 3. Okay? All these games work. Every one without exception works. Alright? Okay, so we are done with that. Uh, let's go ahead and exit this and go ahead and press F1. Press F1. And now let's go ahead and copy. Let's go ahead and copy the ROM set for Final Burn Neo. All right. Select all. And we're going to go into ROMs. Go into. All right. We can just paste it here. Okay. So this is going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward all of this. All right, so it's finally finished. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Close window. And let's go ahead and press start. Game settings. Update games list. All right, going back in there. So you can see my CPS folders are still separated. And I've got all these bunch of new games here, okay? Um, and these, um, there's a whole bunch of these. These are working quite well, actually, as well. We also like the main versions. We also have several versions here. Uh, and let's say you don't want all these versions. Let's say, for example, you don't want version A there. Go into back or select. Go into games option. Go into edit this game's metadata. Press that. And you can either choose to delete or you can go into hidden and hide it all together. Okay. Uh, so I want to go ahead and delete it. I can just go ahead and delete it, and it's gone. All right, so now I got revision B, and that's working just as that's working well. Okay, or you can also we got a bunch of these here too. Uh, let's say I want to go ahead and hide that one. Again, go into game options, edit this game's metadata, go into hidden and it's and then save okay 
all right you can also change some of the options go again go back to back or select go into advanced system options uh, here we can choose different settings video mode go to 1080p smooth games make it look a little bit better you say on yes uh, shader set you can choose these right here I kind of like enhanced uh, decorations, graphics back in. You can choose Open Geo, Vulcan. I, I use Vulcan. All right, and that's that. Looks, looks a little bit better. Okay, so after you've gone through your list, whether either you hide some of these games or you delete them, then you can go ahead and scrape everything, right? By going into pressing start, and of course, again, scrape. And I will stick with this for the time being. Arcade database, screenshot, box 2D, wheel, and you can do that, all right? Once again, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip all this. Okay, so that's about a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That will help me out with uh, YouTube's algorithms. I would really appreciate it. I think the next video I'm going to work on will be a Sega Saturn or Duck Station video tutorial. Uh, in either case, I've got a bunch more video tutorials coming up, uh, including, once I hit 500 subscribers, the PS3 emulator tutorial. So, uh, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm about to set a nation. Bye.